Hey guys and welcome back. In this video I want to take a look at how we can create the cross idle animation and get that incorporated into the rest of the animation um, set. So um, right now I have some raw data here um, just looking at and I haven't done this one uh, yet so this is going to be showing uh, the actual work flow that I will be going through when I haven't looked at anything uh, before. So this is actually uh, the raw footage of me trying to figure out how to um, get around this and get it prepared. So um, let's see. First of all, I can see that the character is digging through the, the, the plane here. So I'm going to take that and move it a little bit using the story tool and I need to turn on the ghost okay so just gonna put him somewhere where I can see uh, all the movement okay so the animation I want to take here is um, to start out with is actually maybe let's take this one this one I just noticed that the foot is completely awkward. It's not, actually not that bad because uh, some people do actually climb uh, using uh, something similar to this. But um, yeah, this angle does seem a little bit broken. Anyway, I think I am going to go with... Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, um, so what I'm looking for is again uh, the beginning of the idle. So it seems to be around here. I'm going to clip that and get rid of the rest, the stuff in the beginning. And just find the place and time where I start to move the foot. And it seems to be here. So I'll clip that. And that leaves me with this little piece here. Okay, um, so this is probably not going to be looping. So I'm going to make it anyway a new take. Uh, I'm going to take this to take two. That was the take I used for uh, showing some uh, looping animation stuff. I'm not going to be using that anyway. So I'm going to frame start in that, and I'm going to just try and play that. And see how it looks. Right now it's a uh, it's a uh, something happening in the, in the background if something i plotted before i should maybe just uh, make sure to plot that um so um that's my expression i'm gonna enable that okay so this is uh the data that i have right now and I want it obviously to not to be in, in this exact position, but uh, this uh, this has a very slight movement. It's not that much, but uh, still a little bit. So it seems like it's uh, an idling state. Um, ideally, I may want to add a little bit more motion to this because it seems very very stationary. And um, I'm gonna take a look at that uh, in a minute. Anyway, so I'm gonna plot this to the current take, and I'm also gonna plot all properties to get the uh, the motion on the root plotted. Um, I'm gonna be doing this in the end anyway. Just kept annoying me that it had this uh, movement out of sync with the rest of the stuff, so um, that wasn't really necessary. Um, so this is a cross right. Uh, animation so I'm gonna switch to cross right um, gonna turn off the so this one seems this is the cross right that I will end uh, the post I will end in so I'm gonna go to the post controls and see I have something in here I don't need I'm gonna delete that and then add this one and then I'm going to switch back to my take two and I'm going to add a new animation there. 
And then I'm going to scroll to the beginning and apply that post here. Okay, doesn't really matter where on the wall I am right now, um, but i um, just going to set a key here. Okay, going to set a key again. Right. So uh, if I play that back, you can see this is the, the raw animation as it is right now. So I'm going to take this and merge this down. And then I'm going to see if I can make this loop, uh, first of all. Um, so the same procedure uh, as before. I have some stuff from, from left from before. I'm going to insert this so I have the new updated uh, animation with a new uh, position. Uh, now the position doesn't really matter that much. And also you can see the, the road is off now, but um, I'm going to adjust that uh, at the end anyway. Um, so we're going to do this uh, the same way as we did before. Uh, find some place in the middle here, raise that up to two pieces, and then make it overlap a little bit and zero that like this. Okay. So frame start and end, and play that back. So I want to make sure that nothing is moving too much. I can see the hand is actually moving. Just a little bit, and that's something I will take in the in the pass uh, after this. So the rest, also this foot down here, seems to be moving a little bit, and I don't really like the. It seems like a bit, there's a little hiccup in the in the motion. So I'm gonna stretch this a little bit, and I'm also gonna stretch this one a little bit and see if that will even things out. Okay, so I guess this is um, hmm. this is a little bit better, I think. I'm gonna keep keep this for now and see how, how it looks. Um, so I'm gonna plot that back, and uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay. Now the hands and the feet were moving, so I need to go and fix that. Uh, that's the next next thing. So I'm gonna take my uh, effectors here. And I am gonna um, make sure to plot everything. So just to make sure that I don't have uh, any weird stuff going on. So I'm gonna turn on the translation for the, uh, the pivot joint here and turn um, this down. Just make sure that nothing moves when I do this. And I'm gonna turn the translation by key for this up and also for this one so the reason why i do this is because i need uh, these to be influencing uh, the, the foot and the hands uh, the endpoints here um, so um, doesn't always seems to be necessary but yeah i like to do it anyway um, all right so i'm going to switch to the translation for the hand and i know for a fact that the hand uh, the, um, the pivot point here is supposed to be remaining completely stationary at the, uh, during the entire clip. So this, this is supposed to be pretty easy, I think. Um, and right now it seems like uh, it's actually still moving a little bit. Um, yeah, well, I turned up the pull. That seems to seem to take care of that. Sometimes when the the arm gets overstretched, uh, as you can see here, it can't really keep the position correctly. So if I turn that up, it's gonna insist that this point stays uh, stays stationary and try to adjust any, something else. Uh, that's at least how I understand the logic behind this. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the the other hand and do the same procedure. Get rid of everything except the first key. That seems to be all right. So just gonna leave it as it is. Uh, this one is okay that it moves a little bit because uh, this is a f what you call a flagging foot. Uh, so it's just uh, on the wall balancing. So it's not like it's standing on something. Um, but the toe for the other foot, the other foot, this foot, it's supposed to be stationary, so it's probably standing on something. Um, 
So I'm gonna gonna take this and get rid of all that and see if that pinpoints the, the foot. It seems to be pretty good. Okay, so that should uh, make sure that the idle position for this is looking okay. I'm gonna take everything and plot all that. Just gonna create all these keys. And I think I might want to try something uh, to finish this off with. Um, I am gonna make sure that I have the the foot, the the feet, um, toes. I mean, uh, point, uh, pinned, and I have the hands pinned as well. Um, right now, I have this one. This doesn't seem to do anything. So what I want to do is see if I can introduce a little bit um, more motion into this, so it, it it's a little bit more um, uh, well, there's a little bit more action going on than just um, the current. So what I'm going to do is to see. Okay, seems like I'm pulling back a little bit here. So I'm just going to take my uh, hip effector, turn that up as well and just very slightly move it a little bit back maybe a tiny bit up like this and set a key and then play that back okay so i don't know if this is something you you want but i think it, it gives the impression that uh, this is not just a stationary uh, animation with two frames or something. Um, even I always discussed uh, the animation itself like it is. But I'm gonna keep this for now and merge all that down. So I have uh, the changes I made uh, baked down. So now I'm uh, actually ready to finalize this one. So. What I'm going to do is to take my expression uh, constraint and activate that again. And that made sure that the, the root is positioned correctly now, relative to the position that it ended up at. And I'm going to take that and plot all that. And then I'm going to finish this off by taking my control rig and plot all that to the skeleton. So that the skeleton also has all of these animations. Um, and then I'm going to rename this take to final um, cross um, right idle. Okay, so I could end the video here and I might just do it, but um, what I need uh, is, I think, the final thing is um, uh, the mirrored version of this and actually i've already covered this so i'm not going to do that again i'm going to do it off video but it's just going to be a small operation of just uh, um, plotting with a mirrored uh, checked um, down here and uh, yeah just uh, making sure that uh, it's turned around again and positioned again and then we're good to go. Um, so that's uh, the final animation. Uh, so I should be ready at this point to take some uh, of this stuff into Unreal Engine and start to set up some preliminary um, controllers for this. Now I haven't uh, addressed any of the side moves yet. Uh, and that's something I will, I think I will end, uh, wait with a little bit, but it's something definitely I'm, I'm going to come uh, back to. Uh, I just want to make sure that things uh, at this point is something that uh, looks, well, semi okay, I guess. Um, so let's just, um, before I leave this, I'm going to check something. And um, I guess we have some <laughs> have some constraints or something active. 
Where is it? Oh, it's maybe these two here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I want to plot all that again, I guess. Take the character, plot, oops, plot that to the control rig. There we go. Um, what am I missing? Uh, what am I missing? Okay, weird. Okay. Anyway, um, I just noticed one thing I did, which uh, was actually not intentional, but that was uh, the fact that I had the mirror on. Uh, sometimes I forget that when I have mirrored something, and once I plot something, it gets mirrored uh, instantly when I plot it again. And just, yeah, remember that you have this one, and once you have plotted something with mirror on, you have it on. because. In this case, I did actually get everything uh, plotted, uh, mirrored, but I needed that anyway, so it's, it wasn't that bad uh, in my situation here. So this is uh, the crossing animations that we'll be taking a look at later on. Um, but I'm going to leave you guys for now. And I think if everything uh, pans out right, I will be switching to Unreal Engine. Um, as the next thing so stay tuned and see you in the next bye bye